get to business. Let's get rolling. As general manager of the United Wrestling Network, I thought the perfect way to kick off this week was to bring out an individual who has been the face of the United Wrestling Network for over 400 days now. An individual who has scratched and clawed from the bottom throughout his career to reach the pinnacle. And a man who is now the longest reigning United World Champion in history. So without further ado, please welcome the radioactive poppy, Danny Limelight! for the longest reigning United Wrestling Network world champion, speaking of world champs, in history, Danny Limelight, the radioactive poppy. Of course, with unseat then champion, Golden Boy Jordan Clearwater, defenses against the likes of rivals, Clark Connors, former Team Filthy member Tom Lawler, Clearwater himself, Eddie Kingston, He's defended the title in Puerto Rico. He's competed in Texas and all points in between. A true fighting champion. A true world champion, and yes, a true fighting champion. Nearly 400 days, incredible, unparalleled run for Danny Limelight. I got goosebumps. What's up, me head day? Man, it feels real good. Listen, I know it's been a long time since I've been in front of you and seen all these beautiful faces around the ring. Make some noise for yourselves. I just, I, I just, I got one question for everybody in the building tonight and everybody watching at home. Did you miss Poppy or what? I don't want you to think that I've been at home sitting down, eating potato chips, ordering McDonald's on DoorDash. I mean, I have. But I've also been on a little world tour with this beautiful thing right here called the United Wrestling World Championship. You see, I've been champion for over 400 days. And I took this bad boy right here all the way to Mexico. Yeah. All the way to Puerto Rico. Yeah. And all the states I could in between. Being a fighting champion for you yeah. and being a fighting champion for me. Yeah. Now along the way, you see I've defended this championship against a lot of people some of you may know. Let's 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 go down the Rolodex. I beat TNA world champion Moose. I beat IWGP junior heavyweight tag team champion Clark Connors. I beat former New Japan strong openweight champion Tom Lawler. I beat former NWA TV champion Zicky Dice. I beat former IWA Puerto Rico Intercontinental Champion Azazel. I mean, the list goes on and on. You ask who else? Man, you name them, I put them down because that's what Poppy does. And you see, there's another person that I got through on this little trip. At the Red Carpet Rumble last year, the current AEW Continental Champion, Eddie Kingston. But now we in Rumble season, you see. The red carpet rumbles just around the corner, and Johnny, correct me if I'm wrong, but that means there's going to be someone else coming after this. Mark 
You see, you mentioned Slice Boogie. He's the second ever Golden Opportunity Tournament winner. And the current number one contender, but you know who the first Golden Opportunity Tournament winner was? Me. You know who's the current world champion? Me. And now Slice Boogie wants this. It's like he's playing a game of anything you could do, I can do better. What I'm here to tell you something, Slice, it doesn't matter if it's you or any other bozo that walks down that ramp into this ring for the red carpet rumble. Everybody that lines up is going to get put down, and I put that on my grandma. So, Johnny, I want to know why you got me out here, because if you try to throw another bodega celebration, it's probably not going to go the way you want. So what's up? First off, glasses. Secondly, you mentioned being a fighting champion. That can't be denied, which is why next week in the main event, you will be fighting. Uh-oh. And it might be his own hermano, his brother of the bodega who might just be able to prove that anything Limelight the champ can do, Johnny, he can do better. I can introduce myself, bro. For those of you who haven't been tuned in, I am Slice Boogie. I am the king of the concrete jungle. And as you said, I am your 2023 Golden Opportunity Tournament winner, so what's good? Danny, you've been doing your thing. You just got back from Puerto Rico. Congratulations. But the time for rice and beans and pina coladas is over. It's over. What you be saying? Oh, Poppy's home. I'm your Poppy now. And since I'm already out here, Mr. LaQuasto, who wants to see me and Danny Limelight tonight for that championship? You heard him, Johnny. What's up? Slice, with all due respect, you did win Golden Opportunity, which means you're guaranteed a shot at the United World Championship in the very near future. But before you came out and interrupted, I'm sorry, but you were not who I was about to announce as his opponent next week. Next week in the main event, we wanted something historical. So it's going to be the longest reigning United World Champion in history, Danny Limelight, taking on the longest reigning United Heritage Champion in history, Perini, Peter Avalon! Wow. Wow. Slice has got to be hot, but he's left out in the cold, at least for now. But what a blockbuster announcement. What a title fight that will be. I know Slice Boogie doesn't have to like it, but I sure do. What a match. Fitting of a true milestone. Avalon. You're lucky I'm in a good mood. You're lucky I'm The United Wrestling Network. I like that, LaQuasto. Historic is the absolute right word to use between me and Danny for that championship. Slice Boogie, I admire you, man. I admire your confidence. You're a hell of a wrestler, and you are fantastic. So I would like to say, when I win that championship, I will gladly defend it against you. Next week, Danny, next week, it's you, it's me, and I'm gonna leave the UWN World Champion, and that's dead ass. <laughs> hey, Pete, welcome back, Poppy. But I want you to know one thing, I got all the respect for you, but next week, PPA is going to stand for Poppy Pins Avalon. Oh, 
The battle lines are set. Next week, the United Wrestling Network World title on the line. Limelight, Avalon, can't wait. How'd it happen? She showed up dead on arrival. This never gets easier. It does, when you call Car Shield before your car breaks down. Look at these prices. The camshaft, transmission, engine. Don't people know? A plan through Car Shield could protect up to 5,000 parts and systems. You hate to see it. An out of warranty car is gonna break down eventually. Right, which is why they need a plan through Car Shield. Those expensive repair bills get paid and at the mechanic of their choice. They're notifying the family. Poor guy, he doesn't even know what's coming. Another victim of senselessly expensive repair bills. Can't save them all. But we can keep trying. Mm. Didn't have to end this way. If he'd have just called Car Shield before his car broke down. <sighs> exactly. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in cost for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantee. Call Car Shield now. Call 800-461-2347. Here's a great way to save money on your prescription medications. If you take Viagra or Cialis, we can give you a way to pay as little as $2 a pill. Compare that to prices as high as $60 per tablet. Call now with your prescription and pay as little as $2 a pill. We offer 24-7 service and always free delivery and confidential packaging. Call Pharmacy Shop 24-7 to get generic versions of Viagra or Cialis for as little as $2 a pill, plus free discreet shipping. Here, the following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Indianapolis, Indiana, weighing in at 215 pounds, Dylan Boston. His opponent already in the ring, the desirable Damien Desire. Damien Desire, colorful opposition for Dylan Bostic. I'm surprised doesn't just come out blowing a horn because he loves to toot his own horn. Just listen to him talk. We'll talk about how he beat the Pope. Yeah, two, I mean, really colorful competitors each in their own right. We saw Dylan Bostic, you know, in the United Wrestling Network back at Golden Opportunity coming out, just nonplussed, Dylan clapping it up for victors in that. Just carries himself like he's the the greatest thing going and has uh will be also be the first to tell you that he is undefeated 2-0 in boxing competition as he is, is sanctioned you would know he's bound and determined to beat the pope at his own game well, well we'll see if he's going to get a top flight tune up here against damian desire of course the pope is a uh, prolific pugilist if you will good alliteration there tk but yeah. Dylan Boston! Thanks. Needed that. Just in case you forgot. Yeah, exactly. And the, and the desirable not to be outdone. I think it's safe to say who the crowd favors there. I tell you, Desire looks to be a phenomenal shape, great athlete, and could certainly catch Bostic off guard, especially if Bostic is going to get overconfident. I guess I should say get overconfident. He's yeah. always overconfident. He was born that way. Drop down there by Desire. Leapfrog. Nice agility. Beautiful deep arm drag. <laughs> and some style points to go along with it. Getting under the skin of Bostic a little bit there. Desire showing that he can, uh, he can admire his own handiwork as well. Yeah. <laughs> now the, the mockery from Desire. Again, trying to get under the skin of Dylan Bostic. And I think, I would say good strategy. Clubbing blow tells a different story. And Bostic certainly does not like getting shown up in Derby City Wrestling. Yeah, and could that sort of creep over into frustration the longer that Desire is able to hang with them here and, and do things exactly like that. Gonna frustrate Bostic, inverted atomic drop. Nicely done in the Enziguri, rocking Bostic. Beautiful. Thrown against the ropes. 
was a beautiful step back with Zaguri, and I'll tell you that arm drag has been a good weapon in the tool belt of Desire. Bostic, a long history in the United Wrestling Network, former tag team title holder way back. I don't think you'll see him in a, in a tag team combination anymore. I don't think anybody could deal with this I, guy. I, I, you tell me he's not great at making friends. That makes sense. And there you see that newfound boxing background of Bostic catching Desire right on the jaw and trying to soak up adulation, finding only jeers from the crowd here. Big right hand there, kind of snuck it in though, and a big shot, and I'll tell you, Bostic, you know, we can talk about his attitude all you want. The guy can back it up, he's a veteran, he's been around, and he has added some pretty vicious striking, and now just rearranging the face of Desire. Yeah, putting, it looked like he was raking at the, the nose, perhaps, of Desire, the top of the mouth, and then another chop sends Desire into the corner, and it's all Bostic right now. What's he setting him up for here? Prone now is Desire. And Bostic taking that wrist tape off. So uh, going back to that, that boxing sort of. Yeah, perhaps going bare oh, knuckle. No, oh, a my. sucker play. Yeah, wow. Going as low as you can go is Bostic. Well, and that's what he'll do. And, and, and the official was, you know, looking at getting that wrist tape out of there, doing the same thing so that Bostic couldn't use that as a weapon. But boy, oh boy, talk about weapons. Un, just unable to defend himself against the low blow there was Damian Desire. Yeah. And that was a 50-yard field goal. And perhaps shattering the dreams of victory for Desire. Bostic now just continuing to taunt after that blatant low blow. Yeah, and he can afford to toy with him now because the guy's completely incapacitated. This matchup would have been over. I mean, that was blatant as blatant can be, not detected by the official. Then that that distraction with the wrist tape. And Bostic now catching Desire again across the jaw, that drop kick. Bostic now is like a cat toying with his prey. And a Cheshire cat at that, with that big smile across his kisser. I guess this guy's proud of himself and his actions. And, and play with your own food at your own peril. Desire still trying to fight back, give him credit. That uppercut sends him back into the corner. Oh, fools rush in. I think Bostic fits the bill on that, and now Desire with a chance. No, just the rug pulled out from underneath him. Nasty landing, back of the head and the top of the turnbuckle there. Bostic going upstairs and downstairs, completely decimating Damian Desire. You know, and on a fair playing field, I would like the, the, the opportunity of Desire to, to score the upset here, but now, oh my gosh, oh, look at that! A variation of the Express right out of the page of the playbook of the Pope! Here is your winner, Dylan Boston. Let's take a look back at the action here, James. This guy is a real piece of work, a real piece of something. Look at that low blow. Yeah, just, again, as low as you can get. The shattered dreams there, desire was prone, and then just doing anything he can to catch the attention of the Pope. Sending a message, hit him with his own variation of that Elijah Express in the corner, these two. Bostic Pope on a collision course. We'll be back with more action from Derby City Wrestling. How'd it happen? She showed up dead on arrival. This never gets easier. It does when you call Car Shield before your car breaks down. Look at these prices. The camshaft, transmission, engine. Don't people know? A plan through Car Shield could protect up to 5,000 parts and systems. You hate to see it. An out of warranty car is going to break down eventually. Right, which is why they need a plan through Car Shield. Those expensive repair bills get paid and at the mechanic of their choice. They're notifying the family. Poor guy. He doesn't even know what's coming. Another victim of senselessly expensive repair bills. Can't save them all. But we can keep trying. Mm. Didn't have to end this way. If he'd have just called Car Shield before his car broke down. <sighs> exactly. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in cost for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantee. Call Car Shield now. Call 800-461-2347. One West is about opportunity. 
One West is about honoring our community. One West is about economic development within the West End. From where I've gone to where I am now, there's no way possible without One West that I'll be there. One West is about revitalization. One West building together. Fanny. Yes? You know you're in the main event tonight, defending that title. I'm, I'm trying to go get changed. What do you want? Well, would you like to know who your opponent is? Absolutely. Okay. This is the United Television Championship. You are in the main event, and you're one of the longest reigning champions ever. So, based on your recent actions, and quite frankly, all your actions, I, I wanted this match to be memorable. Mm -hmm. I wanted it to be special for you personally. So... I decided that your opponent tonight, while you defend that television championship, is a man that has been by your side for a long time. Actually, he's been more behind you for a long time. He's a man that has helped you along the way throughout your title reign. He is a man huh, that you stripped of his first name for a while. And he's a man that you completely dropped and left him in the dust last week. So your opponent is honest, John. Yeah, I, Good I luck. You, I knew you were going to say that, John. It's fine with me. It looks like I actually get to give honest, John, one final lesson. is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from the Valley of the Sun, weighing at 175 pounds, poppin' E.J. Sparks. Always a party atmosphere when poppin' E.J. Sparks is in the house. This place is going crazy. E.J. Sparks always knocking on the door of bigger success. Can 2024 finally be his year? And introducing his opponent from Dallas, Texas, weighing in at 170 pounds, highly recommended Cameron Gates. Highly recommended Cameron Gates. He's got all the tools. And uh, this would be a huge victory. Now you talked about the accolades of EJ Sparks and looking to elevate to that next level, but three-time holder of the Arizona State Championship in the times of championship wrestling from Arizona. But EJ Sparks came so close time and time again for various other prestigious titles here in the United Wrestling Network. And this hasn't captured that brass ring, you might say. Yeah, absolutely. And Cameron Gates, uh, another one that's looking to take it to that next level. And would be a fantastic start for him to get by Sparks, but easier said than done. Sparks from the second rope on the button went EJ. Oh, look at this agility by EJ Sparks. Manhattan drop, following it up, drop kick, echoing off the walls. Reverberation sensation right off the jaw and into the cover, deep leg, could be over quick, no. I love that. EJ Sparks, he doesn't get paid by the hour. Before, you know, he'd love to get the crowd into it, make them a factor. He saw the window of opportunity to go for the quick win, tried to take it. Yeah, laser focused right now is popping EJ Sparks and in control of Cameron Gates. Gates sent pillar to post, no. Nice reversal by highly recommended Cameron Gates. Nice European uppercut in the corner. And, and Gates will hit you from all angles as well. This guy's got a lot of weapons. And uh, he's got some dance moves of his own. Yeah, a little flash as well. Some shots to the midsection he hopes will pay dividends. And then went upstairs. Another kick from Sparks. Doubles over Gates, but able to rally right back. Oh, back first to the knee went Sparks. And now face first. Looking for the cover now. This will be a huge upset. Does not hook the leg. I do not highly recommend that you cover EJ like that. But what a succession of offense. He had that, that dragon sleeper. Dropped him down on the knee. 
then went high impact, but cardinal mistake by Gates to not hook that leg. Yeah, very overconfident, especially in the early going of this one by Gates. You said it wouldn't highly recommend that, but the sliding clothesline right down to the cover, there he hooks the leg. No wasted motion, but still not able to get the three. Didn't make the mistake twice, but I, I think he had a better opportunity for the win first time out, and EJ starts to strike back. EJ Sparks, a prolific kickboxing background, so I don't think you want to get in a striking war with him, but man, oh man, velocity into that corner, and EJ goes down in a heap. Gates looking for the cover now, looking for the win. Not enough, not yet. Not quite yet, but that was a thunderous impact. Sparks spine into the corner there, and Gates really looking good here. That EJ stands for electric jewel sparks. There was electricity of pain running through that entire body of sparks there. Yeah, I think he's, he's still feeling it. Sparks now down to his knees, looking for sanctuary in the corner, able to stem the offense of Gates now. Sparks trying to rally, not able to string it together. Gates just sent him corkscrewing through the air. But Cameron holding his own head, delayed into the cover. Will it cost him? Hooks the leg. In fact, it did. Sparks still able to get the shoulder up, but still writhing in pain is popping EJ Sparks. Bringing a whole new meaning to Spark out there when it comes to EJ Sparks. Looked like he had him down and out there momentarily, did Gates. But I'll tell you, Gates is keeping the pedal to the metal here. He's staying aggressive, keeping this fight in the phone booth. Oh, what, what a kick. kick. Question mark kick there by EJ Sparks. And the question is, can Gates get back to his feet? Question asked, and the answer right now is no. Gates crumpled over, but stumbling back to his feet, charging in, maybe just instinct alone, but Sparks starting to string it together now. A flurry from EJ, turning the tide of this matchup. Gates looked like he got shot out of a can in there, that big double drop kick there by Sparks. He's got Cameron Gates right where he wants him here. Follows in, full tilt, nowhere to go but down. Maybe Bulldog, yes indeed, time tested. Cover that man. Highly recommended Bulldog from Sparks. Time tested and approved. I highly recommend some, IB, oh! some ibuprofen after that. Gum gum pistol from EJ ha. Sparks. The one piece, will it be a three piece and a victory? No. I'll tell you, man, that is an IQ-changing shot, that kick. That gum-gum will turn you into a dum-dum if you get hit like that too many times. Yeah. And Gates is in trouble here. It's all EJ Sparks. What a great matchup we've had. And boy, I look back to that main event last time out. Jordan Cruz, Drew Diz. We've had some fantastic action as the United Wrestling Network has returned. Nobody home there for Sparks and back first again, courtesy of Gates, and now gonna follow wow. up. Falcon Arrow, his aim was true. Into the cover, put him away. No, not yet. Back and forth, seesaw action. This might be the best we've seen out of Cam Gates here in the United Wrestling Network. Yeah, outside of that, that one early mistake with the overconfident cover, Gates has really wrestled an incredibly smart and vicious match here. Oh, wait a minute here. He's looking for that gateway drug. He's put a lot of people away with this. With this if he can get it, no. Oh, super kick. Stuns Gates on his knees. Not sure he knows where he is. Measuring him. Plus ultra, plus ultra there. A new wrinkle in the offense of EJ Sparks gets it done. Here is your winner, EJ Sparks. What a victory. There is indeed electricity in the air. More to come from the United Wrestling Network. How'd it happen? She showed up dead on arrival. This never gets easier. It does when you call Car Shield before your car breaks down. Look at these prices. The camshaft, transmission, engine. Don't people know? A plan through Car Shield could protect up to 5,000 parts and systems. You hate to see it. An out of warranty car is gonna break down eventually. Right, which is why they need a plan through Car Shield. Those expensive repair bills get paid and at the mechanic of their choice.
They're notifying the family. Poor guy. He doesn't even know what's coming. Another victim of senselessly expensive repair bills. Can't save them all. But we can keep trying. Mm. Didn't have to end this way. If he'd have just called Car Shield before his car broke down. <sighs> exactly. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in cost for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantee. Call Car Shield now. Call 800-461-2347. Quick crack. Wash all you want. Don't drive dirty. Hello, wrestling fans. Jack Farmer at the United Wrestling News Desk. And last week, Jordan Cruz got a big win in a grudge match against former friend turned bitter rival Jew Diz. Not looking to stop there. Jordan Cruz has more in store and had this to say about what's next for the modern Spartan. <sighs> Judas beating me means absolutely nothing. The only thing that it proves is that I was right to cross him all along. I take one look around this locker room and I know that I'm still the baddest man in it. This loss only adds fuel to the fire that's already burning underneath me. If you thought I had a mean streak before, you ain't seen nothing yet. Speaking of long-awaited returns, next week we'll also see the return of Levi Shapiro and Wild West. Shapiro's been no stranger to championship gold, being a former world television champion. However, a string of injuries kept him away from competing for most of 2023. Now, he's looking better than ever, and he had this to say. Ladies and germs, as you can see, it's me, Levi Shapiro, once again. I've got my main man, Rob, and I'll tell you what, the Wild West are coming back to the United Wrestling Network to wreak all kinds of havoc. Because Levi Shapiro is a new man with a new thumb and a new mind. And I don't care who they put in front of the Wild West, we're going to slop, drop, and kick every piece of their bones and asses out of them. Right, Rob? That's right, brother. New, old, has been, was, be, it doesn't matter. Because when the Wild West steps in the ring, y'all better watch out. <laughs> the major news going into next week is the huge main event for the United World Championship. And it's going to be between the longest reigning heritage champion in history, Peter Avalon, and the current world champion, the radioactive poppy, Danny Limelight, who's held the title for a record 400 days and counting. It's two record-setting championships and a battle of two of the all-time greats here at the United Wrestling Network. We'll see you there when it all goes down on Championship Wrestling next week. How'd it happen? She showed up dead on arrival. This never gets easier. It does when you call Car Shield before your car breaks down. Look at these prices. The camshaft, transmission, engine. Don't people know? A plan through Car Shield could protect up to 5,000 parts and systems. You hate to see it. An out of warranty car is gonna break down eventually. Right, which is why they need a plan through Car Shield. Those expensive repair bills get paid and at the mechanic of their choice. They're notifying the family. Poor guy, he doesn't even know what's coming. Another victim of senselessly expensive repair bills. Can't save them all. But we can keep trying. Mm. Didn't have to end this way. If he'd have just called Car Shield before his car broke down. <sighs> exactly. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in cost for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantee. Call Car Shield now. Call 800-461-2347. Don't worry, it's fake. But fake meds, that's a different story. Verify your meds with safe.pharmacy. Protect those you love from bad meds.
left us is a single snatch scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Lafayette, Louisiana, weighing in at 219 pounds, Jordan Cruz. Jordan Cruz taking the show on the road to Derby City Wrestling. He has dominated everywhere he's gone in the United Wrestling Network, a champion many times over. Incredibly decorated, marine background, athletic background, but not, not one to make many friends. And introducing his opponent from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 165 pounds, the deadlift king, C.J. Tino. There's a lot of power inside the squared circle for this one, the modern Spartan Jordan Cruz against the deadlift king, C.J. Tino. There's gonna be a lot of power on display here, a big clash of the titans, you might say. C.J. Tino, he might be the deadlift king, but you know, when I hear that, I, th I think about that, that deadlift suplex that Jordan Cruz can apply, so it's gonna be, a, a, like you said, a real test of strength in this one. Who is going to get the better of it? You talked about Jordan Cruz not making many friends, you know, for a while, he, he's a, he was a proud Marine, he was a television champion, a heritage champion, but he just didn't garner the respect of the fan base. It just seems like the fans always saw through him. Yeah, saw his true colors. I, I think that is a great way of putting it, and eventually that frustration with how they were responding to him just boiled over, he fractured that relationship of his with Judiz, and just turned his back really on everyone. And right now, looking to fracture maybe the fingers of Tino. Well, he's got the knee there resting on the side of the jaw and all that pressure being applied, the arm being seized. Just a methodical surgeon-like precision there early by Jordan Cruz. You don't have to like Jordan Cruz, but like you said, he's accomplished so much, just an incredible battler, and he continues to improve as well, which is a scary thought. And when you talk about Deadlift King, I also think about that Titan driver when he got Popo Esco, King Fat Boy, up all that nearly 400 pounds up when Cruz first won the television title. Yeah, no, no doubt about it. Just power personified is the modern Spartan. Full Nelson, Tino for a moment, going back around. Headlock takedown from Tino, but Cruz going right through it. Nice chain wrestling being displayed by both. And it, you know, it's all about picking a body part. Look at this. Nice drop toe hold takedown. Looking to follow up. Nobody home for the short drop kick. And we are back to square one. Even Steven, we got a mirror match going here. I, I don't want to speak certainly for CJ Tino. And I said that Jordan Cruz doesn't really make friends. But if they could get on the same page, I mean, these two would make one heck of a tag team. Yeah. Better adversaries, I, I would wager. And uh, again, it doesn't pay, it doesn't bode well to be uh, an ally of Jordan Cruz. Just ask one Judiz. Test to strength, here we go, I'd love to see this. Who's gonna get the edge? Step through trip there by Cruz. Not able to hold Tino's shoulders down for three, but maybe it'll be different this time. Look at that power count coming. Now this time the left shoulder comes up. Well, that takes a lot of strength. Yeah. Just to, to, just to be able to ward off the power of Cruz, and now the bridge, it's the only thing that saved him. That hand was coming down for three. The only option that Tino had, and he took it, but now maybe lying prone, and back into the cover he goes, and once again, bridging up. Cruz will be getting frustrated now. Yeah, but you gotta wonder how many of the repetitive kickouts by Tino has sapped his gas tank early on. He's been purely on the defensive in the last few minutes. Yeah, expending a lot of energy. Cruz knows it. Right now, it's been all the game plan of Jordan Cruz. Keeping it very fundamental here. Nice test of Wilst and, and, and strength on display. And there you see it. Cruz running him over there. And Cruz, since you know we last saw him in the time of golden opportunity, Cruz has put on a ton of size and strength. As he has said, he's gone completely into beast mode. Yeah, and he's, he's looking every bit of a just an altered beast right now as he continues to try and sap the strength, sap the energy of Tino. And the deadlift king could, could certainly use one of those in a hurry if he can pull a rabbit out of his hat and come up with some sort of counter here. 
This is a, a tough challenge for both. You mentioned Alter Beast. That was a that was a very tough game on the Sega Genesis. Yeah, no doubt about it. I wasn't a fan. Never of got kid. very far. Very, Too hard. Very frustrating. Rise. Too hard, your, and it's hard for Tino right now. In rise the from your grave, and these two are trying to rise out of several pin attempts here, but Cruz now back in control. And there may be the opening. Standing drop kick from Tino follows it up with another one. Creating a little bit of distance, making a third. No, this time, Cruz able to swat him. And the strength on display, Tino out the back door. Russian leg sweep, perhaps, no. Well, into the pinning predicament. Wow, what a cover, stacked him up. Man, how close was that? That would have been a huge, huge victory for Tino as he had countered. I believe that Cruz was looking for that no, no more solo. And now finds himself the recipient of a nice enziguri that he's got some serious cobwebs right now to Cruz. Tino looking all sorts of good right now from the second rope. Oh, just what a shot. Anti-aircraft gun right there from Jordan Chris. There you see the deadlift. And no more sorrow finds the mark. And it's a victory for Jordan Cruz. Here is your winner, Jordan Cruz. Round to air missile there by Cruz. Knocked him out of mid-air. Looked like the bird that ran into a into a Randy Johnson yeah. pitch, and then the no more sorrow, and the modern Spartan goes to war and claims victory once more. More action coming your way on Derby City Wrestling. How'd it happen? She showed up dead on arrival. This never gets easier. It does when you call Car Shield before your car breaks down. Look at these prices. The camshaft, transmission, engine. Don't people know? A plan through Car Shield could protect up to 5,000 parts and systems. You hate to see it. An out of warranty car is gonna break down eventually. Right, which is why they need a plan through Car Shield. Those expensive repair bills get paid and at the mechanic of their choice. They're notifying the family. Poor guy, he doesn't even know what's coming. Another victim of senselessly expensive repair bills. Can't save them all. But we can keep trying. Mm. Didn't have to end this way. If he'd have just called Car Shield before his car broke down. <sighs> exactly. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in cost for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantee. Call Car Shield now. Call 800-461-2347. One West is about opportunity. One West is about honoring our community. One West is about economic development within the West End. From where I've gone to where I am now, there's no way possible without One West that I'll be there. One West is about revitalization. One West building together. Contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the United Television Championship. This is a match we never thought we'd see, a challenger that we never thought we'd see. Once stablemates, a loyal follower of Jack Banning in the institution, Honest John finds himself in the role of challenger to take on Banning for his very United Wrestling Network World Television title. Honest John coming out, no fanfare here, no no music, and looks as conflicted as we have ever seen Honest John. Not a very eager challenger to say the least. Now, Jack Banning, the benevolent one, you know, when this whole thing started, he, he took the likes of Savannah Stone and Honest John under his wing and said, it's time that you get what's coming to you. And Honest John, prior to his time with Banning, didn't get a lot of title shots, but this isn't, I think, what Honest John had in mind. Yeah, no, not at all. And Jack Banning is scary a sight as ever. Benevolent, I say malevolent, and, and poor Adnan stuck in there with him. And Honest John looking to try and steal himself for what is ahead. A title shot against that psychopath. Here to set the stage for our television title main event, our own Adnan Qureshi. 
Introducing first, the challenger from Shady Pines, weighing in at 181 pounds, Honest John! And introducing his opponent, weighing in at 213 pounds, he is the United Television Champion, Benevolent Jack Banning! The institution exploding right here in the United Wrestling Network, and can you imagine, and certainly Honest John, seems confused, he seems not to know what to make of this opportunity. There you see it right in front of him. What if he does unseat Jack Banning as the champion and uh, the inmate truly would be running the asylum? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not entirely sure that would be an improvement, although I will say, I mean, Jack Banning, it's been a reign of terror with him in that television championship, so I suppose anything would be an improvement, and the bell has rung, so John's got to get his mind right right now. He is in there vying for the television championship. Banning saying it's okay. We've seen what Banning is capable of. Survived a bodega street fight with Papo Esco back in Golden Opportunity when he put that title on the line. He has put the title on the line in various promotions as well. Always happy to get any victim, even Honest John. And here we go, shake of the hands. We're off and running in this television title main event. The left-handed shake, and look at Honest John ducking and dodging all of the offensive banning. Oh, he knows what go. he's in there for now, going for the upset in the early going. And look at Banning, I think, looks borderline impressed. The pupil might become the master in this main event with the title on the line. Honest John espousing that he still believes. Oh, oh boy. I think he believes he can win. Kick upside the head and following it up, a flurry from Honest John to the champion. A little trick out of the playbook there. Honest John caught him sleeping like we had too many meds at Shady Pines. Look at this, full head of steam by the challenger. Honest John is honestly doing a number on Jack Banning in the early going. Oh, but. One word from Banning and, and Honest John stopping his offense. He said you passed the test. And, and it had Honest John kept the pedal to the metal here. He was in firm control of this matchup. Oh, yeah. My game. Yeah, completely shifting momentum. Banning still exerting some level of control over Honest John. And, and, and that really has cost him. Now look, it's all Banning. And Honest John, you know, just seemed lost when Bannon said, I release you, I'm sending you to the wild. Savannah Sohn seemed to relish the opportunity, taking what she did from Banning and the institution and then move on. Big sliding knee by the champion. Not enough to put away Honest John yet. Uh, Honest John reluctant to leave that un unhinged nest of the institution, but Jack Banning is gonna force oh, him out here. Oh my he's God! Gonna him. <laughs> he had a fish hook in, and Honest John getting some finger foods. Hey, Honest John, maybe learned too well. But now clubbing blows, and the reverse DDT from Banning plants John. Oh no! Here's where things get weird. Here's where things get scary. Uh oh, look but at look this! Look at Honest John again. Looking for a little joint manipulation, and it might be playtime over here for the benevol benevolent one who will become the benevolent one in a hurry here. Vicious strikes and going, and, and man, Honest John trying to fight back. Wow. I, and John's starting to show that he's learned his lessons well. That fire just might gotta have been extinguished with those multiple headbutts, though. To a grounded opponent, that's devastating stuff. No, John still. Oh, for a moment, seemed to be almost offering again that, that institution salute, but yeah, the, the lights dimming and Honest John. But no, still fighting. John still 
offering up offense after all of that. Oh, and he caught the champion there, but that's just that psycho Jack Banning seems to like the pain. He does. He seems impervious at times. He's got ice water running through those veins. Sending him in is the champion, elevates him, looking for the cutter. Oh, but Honest John was wise to it, had it well scouted, knee in the corner, down goes Banning, down goes Banning, but will he stay there? John has seen that pop-up cutter so many times, saw it coming, and has turned this match once again to his advantage. Knee meet face of the champion. You gotta capitalize though, you gotta go for the cover here, Honest John, so close, don't look around, just do it. He's starting to sense it. What does he have in mind? Something going through there. Scary thought indeed, and I think with John going up top. Yeah, you don't want to climb into the mind of Honest John either. That's a scary place too. You never know what this loose cannon's gonna do. Offering the salute once again. Up top goes John. Oh, but the knee's up a banning. John took too long, and it's gonna cost him. Boy, almost got broken clean in half there. What a counter by Banning. Too indecisive for the challenger, took too much time. And man, oh man, did he ever pay for it. Now the pop-up cutter, that's step one, and we might be one guillotine away. Yeah, don't adjust your sets. The TV champion looking to continue his reign, but no, we've seen this before too. The, the not being satisfied, he wants to punish John Moore teach him another parting lesson, perhaps. Yeah, but why do this? Honest John saved the title reign of Banny. Time in, time out. Not again, my goodness, he's defenseless at this point. Because he's sick, that's why he's doing it. Jack Banny is a sick psychopath. I you and everything you know, but I did not teach you everything I know. And, and, and that might be, is, close to honesty as we've gotten from Banning. And some defiance by Honest John, but at what cost? That might just oh, be guillotine. delaying the inevitable, the guillotine in now, and he pulls guard. All that pressure being applied and the lights are going out for Honest John. He's fighting with everything he's got. He doesn't want to give, but he's not gonna have a choice, you gotta believe. He's out, he's out, bring him out, he's out. Let him go, let the whole go. Here is your winner, and Stan! United Television Champion, Jack Banning! Boy, well, held on to that guillotine a little extra, didn't he? Send in a message, didn't the champion? My yeah. goodness. Parting lesson from Jack Banning to Honest John. So you see just all the damage done. The reign of terror continues. Jack Banning still the television champion. Banning, a vulgar display of power after the admirable defiance of the challenger. One champion retains, but will it be that way next week when Danny Limelight puts the world title on the line against pretty Peter Avalon? We'll see you next time when it's time to fight off.